dive back into games of yore. Okay, maybe not that yore, but like, I, I don't know, when did Balloon Cup come out? 2001? Uh, 2003. Well, it's almost 10 years ago. Balloon Cup is a two-player game in the Cosmos two-player line, and it's one of the most popular ones that came out. It was very accessible. Mm -hmm. It's an abstract game, basically, but it has some theme as you're trying to, I don't know, race balloons or something, win balloon trophies. Ah, whatever. It's a two-player card game. Let's a look at it. Paste it on. Theme, that is. We start the game with four boards in between the players, and you see two of them are valleys and two of them are mountains. And then we take a rather gargantuan bag, and from this bag we are going to be taking a bunch of cubes, and we're going to put them on here, one cube, two cube, three cube, and four cubes, just like the numbers show on each of them. Now there's a different distribution of cubes, there's more uh, red and yellow cubes than there is gray and blue cubes, for instance. Uh, but you never know what you're going to pull from the bag. And so you can see here, there's red, yellow, blue. Here's blue, green, yellow, gray. Two reds and a green on this one. Players are going to have a deck full of cards. And in this deck are different color balloon cards. And each card has a specific number on it also matching the different colors. And, and the distribution here is kind of tricked out too in the sense that there's only a few gray cards while there's lots of the red and yellow cards. Now, on a player's turn, they are going to, from their handful of eight cards, they're going to play a card, and then they're going to draw one. Very simple. When you play a card, you can play it on your side or your opponent's side. So I could play this 12 red here, and then on my next turn, I can play another 10 red here. And the way this works is, the cards that you play, they much match the cubes. So only one card is going to be played here on each side, and it's going to be a green card. Here, two red cards are on both sides. Here are blue, yellow, red, and here are green, yellow, gray, and blue. When both sides are filled up, doesn't matter who played the cards, I might have played the cards with someone else, we then will total the numbers on the cards. I have a 12 and a 10 here for 22, a 13 and 8 is 21. Here it's a mountain card with big numbers here showing 11, 12, 13, so the higher total wins. So I would win both of these red cubes. and. Then all the cards are discarded that were played there, and we flip it over. And now the lowest number is going to win in that location. We go back into our bag of doom and pull out two more cubes, a red and a green. And as the game progresses, now I want the smaller. So I might play a seven on my side and ha ha ha, two green on your side. Doesn't matter if I play red, green, or green, red. And then my opponent plays a four here, ha ha. And I say, no, and then later on he plays a nine here. So it's 11 to 11. And when the totals are the same, the person who played the last card gets the cubes. And this continues on and on and on and on and on. However, after you've been collecting cubes for a while, you want to get a trophy. To win a trophy, you need a certain amount of cubes of that color. So to get the red trophy, you need seven red cubes. To get the gray trophy, you need three gray cubes. Once you have enough of those cubes, you'll trade it in. The first person to get three trophies is the winner. Obviously, when we go back and do these older games, I'm, I'm always going to like them because I wouldn't have them otherwise to, to keep them this long. But so, you know that I like it. Let's le see what Sam says. I already know it. It's okay. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I thought you liked it more than that. Well, I, I don't know. I, I played it a lot with my wife, and, and I have played it a lot with my wife. And it is one of those games to where, um, you know, it's just a two-player game, and, and it's easy just to pick it up when, you know kids put to bed or what have you and uh, ha have some quiet uh, time where you're still engaging each other in thought. So um, it is cool. I in, I did enjoy it. Um, uh, well, I should mention it's that. that there is supposedly a, a, a way that the game can lock up if you have two great cubes in the same thing. This has never happened to me, yeah, me but neither. it happened to some people and so there's a there's some rule I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. I, I think basically you're just not supposed to put two gray cubes on anything because yeah. the game could lock up that way. But uh, I like it in the Cosmos two player line. Now, I like Lost Cities better. I like Battle Line. I like the the deeper games better than this one. But this one is the 
one of the most easy g games to play. I can teach yeah. someone to play this so quickly, mm -hmm. and it just makes sense that, oh, I, higher number wins, lower number wins. And you go back and forth, and I almost hesitate to say that there's no strategy in it at all. <laughs> you just play the best card on your turn. Yeah, that's true. And that's okay for this kind of game. Mm -hmm. You know, you I should say, yeah, because there's some tactics, but for the most part, you don't know what cards you're going to get in the future, mm -hmm. and you only have, you have a small, well, yeah, not a small hand, but you're going to get to the point sometimes you have a whole hand of red, and there's no red cubes out there, and you're like, ah. Yep. So I like it. And so I will give it one and a half balloons up. Um, it's, it's enjoyable. It's one I kept around because it's something I can play with my wife very easily. It's not the best of the series, but it is in the top tier. Okay. I'll agree with that. Um, it, it's definitely better than some of the games that even he mentioned, in my opinion. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, Lost Cities at all. I'd rather play this over Lost Cities uh, in a heartbeat. And you can look back and listen to old episodes to, to catch all that jazz. Uh, but that was kind of a firestorm. But anyway, um, I, I would play this over, over Lost Cities. Um, and I'll give it two partially inflated balloons up. <laughs> so I guess that what I Is that like a one, metaphor? Uh, at, no. Um, I, I guess I'll give it one thumb. One balloon uh, with <laughs> a strong basket underneath it. I don't know. Someday. We're going to look back at these. Re okay. Anyway. What were we thinking? <laughs> it's still available uh, in some places. It's, you know, people are still selling it used. At least you can find it. And you might want to check it out. If you want to, if you have something that you play a lot of games with, two-player games, it's certainly one you might look at in that regard. Yeah, absolutely. Um, very, very... Um, easy to teach two player game check it out thanks so much for watching the dice tower videos find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com you can also find the latest board game news at dicetowernews.com i'm eric summerer and you've been watching the dice tower the Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com.